Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Libra and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. What do we have for Libra please? Message for Libra, thank you. Okay, the card has fallen out. Oh wow, <laughs> hearing messages from Spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Sorry, Libra. I'm just getting how funny. Yeah. I'm getting you might be getting something in the post. I mean, that won't resonate with everybody. I don't, you know, I don't know what that means for you, but hey, that is the message I just got. Uh, but yeah, hearing messages from spirit. Spirit speaks through our intuition, sign symbols, messages, the messages to read the signs this month. Okay. <laughs> you know, get more information, but I'm definitely getting this, this energy of, of it feels to do with, you know, Download the information, see the information. It might well be for some of you, something is coming in and you need to get more information as well. We have don't stop. Absolutely keep going. If you're thinking about giving up or, you know, throwing in the towel, there is the energy of don't stop because you'll be thankful that you didn't. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week Libra but obviously people are at different life stages the message remains the same however um, and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody Libra so just take what resonates from you it's funny that I got that I was definitely getting somebody getting something in the post <laughs> I mean obviously it can be email as well no doubt but I was definitely seeing the post <laughs> Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra. Message for our lovely Librans, thank you. For May 2021, what do we have for Libra? Message Libra needs to hear, thank you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, that's with, oh my goodness. With the Ace of Wands. Oh, that's lovely. Two new beginning energies there. And they're seed cards, the beginnings of something new, new phase, next step, next level. Okay, Ten of Cups. Seven of Wands. And Death. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for our lovely Librans, thank you. What do we have for Libra for May 2021, thank you. Okay, so the star. Card of Aquarius, lovely energy there. We have the Ten of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. The four Earth Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Nine of Swords with the Death card. Oh, look, oh my goodness, another Ace. <laughs> the Ace and it's air energy that we're ending in. Endings and beginnings here. And it's air energy, which is your energy, Libra. Okay, so the star is saying there is hope. I'm getting the path that you're on is blessed here, Libra. Um, this is a sense of renewal, blessings from the universe. Uh, divine wish fulfillment, this is a card of as well. But you're being told that miracles do happen. Uh, and to believe in miracles, you know, sometimes you see that person walking on water because you are being given, destined, new beginning, next phase, next level. So I'm definitely getting this energy of 
And it feels like some kind of exciting opportunity, very much close to your heart. Now, you know, for some of you, I mean, sometimes I see house moves here, moving, relocating with your family. That can be the energy here. This can also be there's hope in terms of career financial opportunity coming your way. And it's exciting. It's something connected to your heart and soul. Um, this is about staying hopeful. If you stay hopeful, if you keep on putting your energy in that direction, don't stop. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. And the path that you're on is blessed because this is the hand of God, the universe giving you. This is the helping hand card. And this is why I'm saying some of you, you might be getting some signs, symbols, messages here. Um, it feels very, very beautiful. This can be career financial opportunities, can be moving, relocating. It might be both for some of you, but boy, is it exciting. And, you know, this is such potential, absolutely something that is close to your heart and soul, something that you really want that promises growth and success if you take action to it long term. So there is definitely an energy. There is hope. Keep going. You're going in the right direction. Don't doubt that for one moment. Yeah, and then we have the Ten of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, some of you might be doing up a home property here, um, but there's definitely an energy. This is also a card of the beginnings of success. It can be a card of starting your own business, certainly with the Ace of Pentacles or business partnership, collaboration. It also feels in this situation, Libra, that... This can also be in terms of the beginnings of sex, success in manifesting something new. Um, in terms of money, career, finances, or it can be to do with doing up a home, a property for some of you. But the Three of Pentacles is the beginnings of tangible success. The beginnings of, you know, feeling that you're getting solid foundations. You're setting up yourself for long-term <clears throat> success. So it could be in a new job. It could be in a new business partnership, call it what you will. There's an element of teamwork with this. But I definitely feel somebody is prioritising, putting their work in the right direction. There is just such a wonderful energy boost with both of these cards of being really productive. You know, it just being exceptionally productive um, in bringing and manifesting the beginnings of abundance coming into your life. It just feels very beautiful. And the energies just keep going. Um, it feels it's been hard work. You know, the, the seven of, of wands with the four of, of pentacles is somebody who it just feels like you're being, you're getting on top of a situation. I mean, the seven of wands is a card of challenge. It's also a card of competition. But, you know, there's definitely an energy here with the four of wands of bringing financial stability and security into your life. Maybe having been cautious with money, career, finances. Um, maybe there's a reason to be cautious with money, career, finances, but there's definitely this energy of determination, perseverance, um, standing on your own two feet and, you know, any challenge that you're experiencing in, either competitively or, you know, any challenge that you might be energy wise, you know, feeling or any opposition that you might be feeling. There is definitely an energy of you're getting on top of this. Um, and again, there's definitely the, the four is generally about stability, security, uh, solidity, safety. So I'm definitely getting this energy of just being cautious, putting your energy in the right direction. But definitely any competition that you might be experiencing rising above that here. You're overcoming that which opposes you in whatever context. Um, and it, it feels to bring in cautiously more stable financial security. Yeah. It feels there's cautious optimism between these two energies. Cautious optimism, you're just being exceptionally productive. I love these cards, though, because look. The sleepless nights. The stress, the anxiety, the worry ends. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, that, that is definitely the energy here. We've got the card of Scorpio, which is the Phoenix Rising card. The Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to bring the new in, and the new is coming in here towards the end. It feels towards the end of the month. Um, there's definitely an energy of slow progress here, but nevertheless, there's progress. Um, but I'm definitely getting this is out with the old, in with the new. I'm ready to shed an old skin. I'm ready to shed and let go. Something is happening here that is allowing you to end sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, stress that you may have been experiencing. Yeah, because there is some kind of breakthrough. Victory, success. And I love its air. Because, you know, this is you and your element. And interestingly enough, this is called the power of air card. So when you switch on, when you use the faculties of air to your advantage, you know, the thinking, the logic, the reason, the focus, the mental acuity, the vision, and really use all your other resources to support it. There is definitely an energy of a breakthrough, a victory. A, it definitely feels like some significant breakthrough. And I'm definitely getting this linked with these two, you know, practical energies. The new beginning is here. This is your crown of power being awarded to you. Um, remember, this is the warrior sword. You've had to climb a lot of mountains. You know, you've had to overcome a lot of challenges, but there's definitely an energy of the anxiety is over. The new day is rising in the distance and there is, you know, the parting of the clouds, the blue sky we can see. I love the energy and it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe. So you're, you're absolutely being guided. These cards are linked to destiny because the aces are where we touch by the hand of God. Um, you know, and we are hearing messages from spirit you are absolutely being blessed you're being told don't give up you are absolutely on the right path the path that you're on is a blessed one and it's linked to your destiny there may well be some information of getting more information here i was definitely getting it's interesting whatever that means to some of you getting something in the post <laughs> but don't stop is the message just keep on going because this beautiful ending is here and the breakthrough is coming. Love it. Now, yeah, these can be communication energies. It's the blue sky, the victory, you know, just the new beginning opening up for you. What do we have for Libra as a final message, please? Message for Libra. You see, the cards are very much in sync. We have stay motivated this kind of goes with the don't stop message for me when spring approaches very timely the flower fairies urge you to spring into action if there's something you've been merely thinking about doing they say get busy and do it um but interesting this is leading to if you're motivated this is about flourishing the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others it just feels that there is an opportunity to flourish there is a new beginning energy of offer, opportunity. Like I said, it feels either to do with moving, relocating, or it definitely feels in this situation to do with money, career, finance, financial areas. But either way, it just feels there is the success, the victory coming your way. And towards the end of the month, it feels like there's very slow progress and steady progress here. Um, there may well be a couple of hoops to jump through here, Libra, I have to say, but it's leading to some significant victory. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.